Oh. You old lady. <laughs> oh. oh. I am old. I know. Move your old lady. Hi guys. Hi guys. You old lady. What are you doing? I didn't know what made oh. that noise. It was my jump my my attire. Your attire. Yes. What is we drinking today? It's insane <laughs> shit as always. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you bought so much of it. All the labels have been pretty dodgy on them. You don't drink the label. Yeah, I know, but like... It's so they can reuse the bottle easier. It's recycled. Oh. oh. No, I don't know what it is. Oh. I'm finding out more and more things you can't recycle. I thought it's like... You can't find... You what? You're finding out what? You told me the other day I can't recycle cans. What cans? Like... The cat, like that the cat food comes Steel in? Steel cans, yeah, mm. they don't recycle that. I thought they did. I thought it was just like any metal you could, like metal and plastic. No, they're so fussy. They recycle the odd piece of paper. Well, they shouldn't be fussy. Well, it's like the op shops and thrift houses. Thrift houses, they only want stuff unless it's brand new in a packet and in vogue right now. That's ridiculous. Anything less than that, no, sorry, take it to the dump, they'll recycle it there. No, they won't, they'll just bury it in the ground. That's ridiculous. I've got to take clothes to the op shop, actually. Some of them still have tags on them. Oh, that was ridiculous. <laughs> you and your very smart buying decisions. Well, wait, I know there's one top that still has the tags on it. It's like this yellow mesh top. And I thought it was gonna be like giving Kill Bill, but I put it on it, just made, it was giving Simpson. <laughs> well, Homer Simpson. Yeah. <laughs> or Bart. Or your little Bart. So I've never worn it and it's stayed in my cupboard. Well, you should have kept it because then you could have had your only Bart's fan. Oh, page. my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said you're over only farts, so well, it's the only you've Bart's. you've been repeating it. I know because I know it really annoys you. If you, whenever she brings up something, if you just repeat it a couple of times, like not a model. Someone commented yesterday, not a model. It's getting regurgitated. No, don't yes, let it, will, it die. Have a, look, have a look. It was repeated. Leave it, just leave it. Leave it dead and buried. What are you doing, little Rattus? Hi. What do you want, little dog? Come here, little Rattus. I don't even Come have a sip here. of wine. I poured it and it's been sitting there. Oh. Well, I'm deciding. Um, I might start off with a Kita whiskey. With a what? Nikita whiskey. Or Nikita. Or how you want to pronounce it? Nika. Nika. Are you really allowed to say that? Nika? Why aren't we? It sounded like something that we're definitely not allowed to say. That doesn't have an I in it. And it doesn't have K's in it. There's nothing even close. Oh my God. We're definitely not allowed to say that. Anyway. Oh, this is, um, I think this is a whiskey you told me to get my dad for Christmas. Yes, eh? it was a whiskey that suggested you get your father for Christmas. I believe I did. Oh, you believe you did? Yes. I think he said it was good. Should I pick the dog up? If you want. You can sit yeah. on the seat between us. Now that the dog is getting Hi. better up. Hi. Hi, little dog. Yes. Uh, you want to go over there? Okay. I'm not good enough, I see. So what didn't you do last mm -hmm. night? <laughs> didn't go to bring you the horizon. Oh, but there was tickets available and you didn't want to go. I find that very I, surprising. I had a tantrum. You had a tantrum. Because I was not informed that there were tickets available. But you're already going to two other cons. Yeah. Surely you don't need to go to all three. Surely I do. Surely. I would see them every night of the week if I could. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, I would. No, you wouldn't. You yeah. get bored of them. After 365 nights. I, I'm annoyed and I cried like the child that I am because I didn't get to go to a concert. And then guilted him and now he's making you ramen tonight. I didn't guilt him. He I didn't <laughs> guilt him. <laughs> no, oh my God. <laughs> and then he felt bad. Hmm. Mm. Smells like it used to. See, that was kind of... And then my best friend kept sending me photos and videos of her at the concert. And I was like, oh, please stop. Well, on. how did she get tickets? Uh, one of her friends got her tickets like a while ago. Oh, so you got the wrong friends. That's your problem. I don't have the wrong friends. Just... Why, why would he assume I wouldn't want to go? 
He listened to the last podcast and we all <laughs> <laughs> fantasies about. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, well, He's like, gene designer. Like you said, it's probably a blessing in disguise because I'm seeing them twice next week and now I save money anyway, so. I didn't say it was a blessing in disguise. Well, you didn't say that, but you said I saved money and I was like, yeah, that's true. Anyways, I'm still, I don't want to talk about it. You won't talk about it. I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, so I woke up this morning, it was all over my phone. <laughs> in capitals. And there's explanation marks. My God, you must have been angry. I was. I've never I seen you type capitals to me. I cried. You cried. Anyways, I don't want to talk about it. No, it's, you didn't go. It's past you can never go now there's no no you can't go to last night i know the best australian concert i've heard it was the best i've ever done you only go downhill from the best drink your whiskey i am (laughs) how is it it's good it's good it's good what else have you got over there surprises oh surprises (laughs) surprises lots of surprises oh oh and um Something's happened on X. Everything, everyone in my picture has been marked inappropriate by author. Why did you do that? I didn't. I'm just trying to, yeah. And then there was other peoples that were coming up as inappropriate by author. Plus nine one. What country is that? I don't know. It will be some country trying to sell me. Well, obviously, it's it. some country. <laughs> it will be some country. Beck speak is having its effect. That's like something I would say. I don't know how. It got out that people think people think I need Viagra. Like what? I don't advertise it there, but people are trying to sell me Viagra packs. What? The last one I answered, I actually answered, <laughs> it was like a discounted Viagra pack. And I was I sort of like, I didn't advertise the fact of this, so how do you know? Hello. That's I don't need Viagra. <laughs> I have whiskey. It's better. Oh my, I've never heard of Cold calling. For Viagra. <laughs> it Next. used to be a really big thing in spam emails. Next thing they'll Discounted be, they'll be walking into the studio unannounced. To unannounced. Try, <laughs> to try, and <laughs> try and sell you Viagra. No, I don't need it. I'm sure. I think it take a fair th- bit of um, blood to get Ollie up. So oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my gods. Anyways. I'm still not over that guy walking in the studio. I know, you, you, you're obsessed <laughs> by him. <laughs> I'm not obsessed by him. I think you are. I still reckon it would have been funny if Shay or Anne was in there were shooting and they had an axe in their hand or something. That would have been good. That would have been funny. I would have liked him to have walked in and been embarrassed. Well, maybe he comes back next week when Shay's down. I hope so. That was, yes. That's the best. Oh, yes, Shay's coming down next week. That's yes. exciting. Do you have any idea what you guys are going to shoot or are you just going to make it up as you go? I oh, know, we've got a few little plans. Oh, surprises? No, because she won't be there. Because there's stuff, well, I'm mostly only going to shoot on one or two days. Oh, okay. Sorry, film. Oh. And the rest will be for Just our you stuff. stuff. Our stuff. Oh, yeah, we've already, Shane and I already spoke last time about stuff we wanted to get done. And, and you much prefer to just shoot rather than to film. Oh, shoot. yeah, a hundred times. I just... It changes the vibe so much. Well, yeah, we just finished recording a new one and we did it in a way of... It didn't feel like we were recording. It felt no, like just, just we were doing... No, crap while we were shooting. <laughs> like normal shoots. Normal shoots, yeah. So, and that, that's... That's the thing. I think when the um, it comes out and people see that you're not just going your macarena and pulling a face, click, move, click, move, click, move, click. Mm. Because you've now, whatever we've spoken about has got you in not a modelling mood, more in a fun mood or... Not a modelling mood. Not a modelling mood. Oh, there we go. That's the next thing. The not a modelling, the not oh a modelling mood. No. No. It's annoying. Annoying. I don't know why I get so irritated by things being repeated. I don't know what either. Mm. I did love, we have this, and I don't know, Beck's going to worry a bit. I don't count in so Anyway, you're worried now. I'm worried now. <laughs> <laughs> we had a comment come on one of our videos and it was like he was a bit sour grapes because he doesn't 
get how we have so many followers and interactions. Mm. And he's sort of asking our advice. You know the one? Yes, I know yes. the one. So we went and had a look at his page and well, he's, he sort of had criticisms about what we do, you no know, teaching or something like that, wasn't it? I can't yeah. remember what they were. Not that I care, we do what we do. He said he didn't mean it as an insult. But I don't mean as an insult, but you're ugly. And so... <laughs> Does that does it make sense? I don't mean it's an insult, but this is boring. Isn't he say something like that? And or it's there's no teaching in it or something. I can't remember like what, what because not it's not always the teaching isn't always about paint by numbers and it's more about watch what we're getting and then work out how we got it. Mm. If you're not getting that type of imagery, if you can't get your models relaxed or can't get your lighting right, don't listen to me to tell you put the light here because I'm not, nobody else is telling me to put the light there. I'm moving the light based on what I see. Mm. But then anyway, we watched Tears and there was no teaching whatsoever. It was just half naked, um, over modified females. Well, some were fully naked. Over modified. Well, the one you showed me, that was over-modified. <laughs> it was over-modified. I've seen bowling balls That's each their own. Yeah. No, but what I mean is everything was pointing back to Patreon and OnlyFans. It was all, all it was was to drag people to come and look at naked chicks. Yeah. So there's no photography in it. Would you agree? Yeah, for the most part. Yeah. Anyway, we sent him and gave him a message saying... If you'd like to talk about it, yeah, this send us an email one. and crickets. But <laughs> no, but I, I think that was good because I was happy to talk about it. I, if he, I just say, do you want me to be brutally honest and I'll give you a free mentor session? Mm. And I would have. I would have told him exactly me looking at your channel just as a, anybody, not as a photographer, not just looking at it and getting you to understand that. But YouTube, if, we, if like. Subscribe now. <laughs> and make sure you press what is it? Is like. It, no, like and subscribe. What's the other thing? Turn on notifications. Turn on notifications. Yeah. Has anybody ever done that when someone's asked for it? I've never <laughs> no. I've never been watching a YouTube and they'd be like, oh, like and subscribe. And I'd be like, oh God, I need to like and subscribe right now. Like I watch something and if I like the content, I'll be like, oh, I'll look at some other videos of theirs. And then if I like a few more of them, then I will subscribe. But just telling me to like and subscribe, is, if anything's going to make me not want I'm like, no, I'm not doing it because you told me to. Yeah, I normally don't like a video till I get to the end. Yeah. And say, oh, I like that. I'll give them an up thumb. Did we used to say like and subscribe in the early days when we first started doing YouTube? I can't remember. Well, I wouldn't have. Did I? I don't think so. I think I said it once as a joke. I think one time I was like, smash that subscribe button. Smash that subscribe button. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I don't like it. I find it. I find it, I don't know, even there's a Vince, the pizza guy that, who taught me how to make the super sticky dough pizza. Vince the pizza guy. He's, he's forever and he has big words come up, subscribe now. Oh. And then there's the, the bass player dude. I can't remember his name. But he's got like, I think he's got like 16 million followers now. When he goes, slap that subscribe. Slap it. Slap it. it. Slap it a bass. Um, but, yeah, I, I don't know. To me it's, it's a little bit like you buy something from a store and instantly they want you to fill out a survey. <laughs> and they want, if there's nothing less than five X's in the survey, oh, why? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> you only gave me four and a half X's. Oh, so what did we do wrong? <laughs> well, you weren't obviously the best I've ever been. Well, then no one should really get, see, when I stupidly did some photography judging for it, I always said nobody should get 10. Yeah. There's always going to be a better picture. If you give someone a 10, there can't ever be a better picture. Yes, they can. Yes, they can. No, they can't because it's a 10. It's a high score. Yeah, so a picture, picture comes along that's better and you go, oh. 
Well, you could give that a 10. Yeah, but that's not making it better than the other picture. It's making it equal to. There's no winner. Mm. It goes the other way too. If something's really bad, you can't give it a zero. Why not? Because if something worse could come <laughs> up. <laughs> and you've got nowhere to go. You can't. <laughs> Something worse. Well, it could, well, you've seen it. Yeah, but... You think the worst image you've ever seen, I bet you there'll be another one that comes up and there'll be worse one day. Right? I guess you have a point. So, but, yeah, it's so uh, I do find, do find it a bit cringy. Like, I think, do we actually... We don't do any of that stuff, but... Oh, we have an area if someone wants to leave a comment. Is it? Uh, no. Or, no, we don't. Workshops, yeah, you can leave a testimonial. Yeah, but we don't send it out to ask them to do it. No. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> really? I I used to do, I used to send a survey after workshops. Did you? Yeah, because that's what I was told to do when I first started. Oh, that was by the other person that yeah. worked for me who doesn't work for me. Yes, they told they, me after they work told you. to do that and I did for a little bit and then I stopped. Because I don't know, I've... <clears throat> If someone sends you an email with how much I don't like something, that's really valuable. So yeah. take an effort to write something to you privately to yes. say that. If someone then gives you a, a massive rap privately or in a message to you that nobody else see, sees, mm. that's also that's where it is. But if you've asked people to do it, I feel like... Mm, yeah, I feel like it's not as genuine. It's not genuine. Yeah, I agree. And then when it comes to things like you're buying off eBay, was this a good person? What? Well, when you buy, on eBay, you rate the person afterwards, and so some people have 100% rating. I you tend know. to buy off people with 100% rating. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? And people have more and more complaints, so the less people you'd buy off. Once you get below about 95, you go, oh, yeah. he's had a few complaints. I used to buy a lot off eBay. I forgot about that. But, yes, when I – back in – Back in the day when I was my eBay era, I remember having to always always checking the seller and looking at their reviews. Yeah, I tend to not do anything unless they were really good or really bad. Mm. No, if someone if, if it's good, it's although I think uh, yeah, but a three star is like halfway. That's not a good. <laughs> that's not a good score. Yeah, but it's a, you, they only want a five. But if they, if they got the item and it was fine, why wouldn't you give them a five? Yeah, that's what I said. If everything went fine, everything was good, I don't yeah. have a problem. But if one little thing's off... I think we did this with an Airbnb once. There was one little thing. We just didn't rate them at all. Yeah, they asked us to give them a five. Well, I couldn't get over those. The ones in Mexico. Oh, it's our livelihood. It's our family. Please give us a... And, you know, we've been checked out for an hour now and we've had six emails. Can you please give us a rating? And the, when they were holding my shorts hostage until we gave them a rating. And then they still held them so sausage. <laughs> sausage. Sausage. <laughs> At least I got them back. At least I can get someone else's pants. <laughs> I'll never get over that. Yes. Why you. You and your leaving things. I wonder if we can get through Europe without me leaving something No, nah, never. No? You nah. don't reckon? No. Nah. I reckon I could do it. Uh, no, I hope in hell. I'm going to challenge myself to You're going to challenge yourself. I think you do something. that every day. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can get out of bed. I didn't the other day. You didn't? I was on the weekend. I stayed in bed like all day. One of the days. Oh, yeah. So don't you get bed sores with that? <laughs> <laughs> well, now you're getting old. Oh, they get bed no. sores if they just lay in bed. But, like, how do you get bed sores if you're just laying there? I don't just lay in bed, so I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. No, I think they're talking about people that might be um, paralysed or unconscious in a coma or something. They don't move at all, so just sitting in that one position. Oh, no, see, I roll around. You roll around. <laughs> You're going to get comfy. Oh, that's right. She'll be watching television or looking at the phone. Yeah, watching yeah. television on my phone. I can't think of anything worse. Why? I just... Beds are for slippings. My bed is for comfortable. 
No couches. I find one comfortable. It's closer to the bar. <laughs> but you can always bring a drink to bed. I do that sometimes. I get. Yeah, but what happens if I don't know what I want in two hours? I'm going to have to get up and walk all the way to the bar. Well, then you're not staying in bed. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't. This is Smilly's. Smilly's. Smilly Vanilli's. I'm going to miss my bed. I, I miss my bed while we're traveling. Oh, so do I. That's one thing I. My bed and my pillow. Yeah. Yeah, I... Yeah, the two things, the bed and the pillow. Also, showers. Oh, showers big time. Some of the showers... Are pretty are, revolting. Are horrible. And then every now and then we get a ripper. Yeah. Well, um, I... Th- I've, this... Oh, the one in LA at the hotel, that was a good shower. I can't remember that one. Um... You even had a shelf in there that you can put a glass in. I thought you would have. That's convenient. I don't remember. (laughs) I don't think it was for glasses, but it worked. What was I about to say? I don't know. Your brain's. Oh, now I can see what you're talking about. What? The crease that. Yeah, I know. I told you, I need to get Botox. You're not getting Botox. I need Botox. It's the only way I can tell how old you are. (laughs) Yeah, it's because. See, next time someone asks you for your license, you can just go, look, (laughs) obviously not. Have you ever seen an 18-year-old with this? <laughs> you just don't get, stop getting so pissed off. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Yeah, well, what if I get Botox and people Imagine won't... the damage Jared did last night to your forehead. Serious? He should pay for it. He should pay for <laughs> <my> Botox. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited for my apology ramen for dinner tonight. Apology ramen. <laughs> the peace offering. The peace offering. So <laughs> maybe my fiance will love me. I hope he it. messes up and you get mushrooms in your your half. Oh, <laughs> or he changes and gets a different stock, and it's mushroom stock. No, he wouldn't. He wouldn't. He would not do that. I think he's. <laughs> it's mushroom season right now. I hate mushrooms. They're gross. No. Slimy dirt. There's all these little purple-topped ones down there. I thought you would have loved. That's all right. What? I'm staring at you. I have all the... disgusting. Sorry? Mushrooms are disgusting. It tastes like slimy dirt. What is? Mushrooms. No, it doesn't. They taste like slimy dirt. They have like a slimy consistency and they they taste like dirt. They do. Uh, Anyway, sorry, what were you saying? Um, (laughs) you wouldn't know because you don't do gardenings. I used to have plants. Outside? I have some that hang outside. Hang? No, in the ground outside? No. I don't have any grass out the back. I have some in pots outside. Yeah, but you just leave me and never look at it. You don't move the mulch. Oh, there is no mulch on there. Rock hard, clay. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. So when I mulch up, I end up with a great mulch. area of mulch and mulch. that's where mushrooms love. Mm. And... When you open up the mall, you all see these really white fibres everywhere. It's just all this white fibre, like spider web. That's the actual mushroom. And the bit that comes out of the ground is the fruit. What? It is. That's wild. Yeah, that's what wild mushrooms do. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Hmm. So I know, not many popped up last year, but when I was out the other day getting ready to mulch up a whole heap of other stuff, I noticed that there was lots of fruit. So we might have some wild mushrooms for dinner. Mm. Or I could make a mistake and get death caps. I was going to say. Well, it might be a mistake. It might be on purpose. Mm. (laughs) What would you like for lunch tomorrow? Not mushrooms. (laughs) I'll disguise them. We were going to have lunch on this podcast, but we decided we didn't want to be eating pizza and... Might have been a bit... Well, especially my super cheesy pizza. Yeah. Might have been would a have been fun. a bit rude, I think. <laughs> a lot rude. I might have, yeah. I don't think people want to hear the sounds. Even though like, we, we ate the burger on the podcast once. We should do some more cooking, though. Should we? Yeah, I think so. You think so? Well, I was going to do a pizza dough and make you make it next to me. So I have two batches going. So it would be so funny. Laughing at my expense. 
I know that you just you just end up with these big gloves made of dough on your hand and nothing on the it'd just be this big sticky. Why? Why wouldn't I? I, I it takes it takes a while. Like I watched the pros do it, and we were when we were in Sydney once. We went to a pizza place. Remember, I stood up and just watched at the kitchen. So doing proper pizzas in the wood fire, and it was a proper Napoleon, Napole- whatever it is, margarita and things like that. Um, shut up, leave me alone. Um, and I was watching and I could see, yeah, it was super hydrated, just how soft it was. And I just watched it, didn't stick his hand, blah, 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 done. And I just thought, I'm going to kill you. It can't be that easy. Then watching Vinci, my mate, and I'll put a link, I'll put a link to him to follow. He's actually, he's in his million, so he's... He's a popular, his he's pizzas are really cool. He just pretty much sticks to the norm with a couple of variations, but he teaches all about different doughs and hydrations. <clears throat> and anyway, Dough. with him, he did one on the stick. Everyone complains about the stickiness of the dough once you get the hydration up. I think it runs, he's at 70%. So what happens when as soon as you touch it, you put your hand away, it's just like sticky. Why is it so sticky? Because it's mainly water. Oh. But he does have a few tricks that you learn towards the end, does he? He doesn't let them slip early on. And then when I've watched some other videos, I've seen the tail-tail of what he does. Olive oil and the handle stop sticking as much. Oh. So you see his hands are a little bit shinier before he ever starts handling the dough. Well, now I'm going to do that if you get me to handle the dough. No, it's not like that. Because really you watch him and you can see he just puts his hands in layers and just goes and just sticks. Then he starts working and it's not sticking to him at all. I don't want to do it. <laughs> It'll be funny. <laughs> I'm certain we'll get lots of laughs over just... the textures. Yeah. You'll be able to pick it out of your nails and eat it later like you do with your <laughs> mince meat and your burgers. <laughs> get some nails done beforehand and you'll be able to get the afterbite. How's that? We can just put your hands into the pizza oven oh, like this God. and you can get some little nail sticks. I do miss having nails because when I get takeaway pizza, if it's too hot, I used to, like, use my nails to, like, perch it up while it cools down because obviously they're fake and there's no feeling in them. So they were like little, like little tongs to do. But now I have no nails. I miss my nails. It's too expensive. Too expensive. Well, she doesn't do it anymore. She, well, she moved away. to Gold Coast. Yeah, she ran away. She's, <laughs> I scared her off. Yeah, with your thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> your toes, sorry. <laughs> oh, my little toe thumbs. Bless so you wouldn't me. go back to that other lady that you found? Or she was uh, just really expensive, wasn't she? No, she was only Monday to she was only during the week. Oh. And during working hours. Oh. So that's not good because I have to work during those hours. Well you have to turn up. <laughs> <laughs> so rude. So rude. I have to come and spend your money, which I've done. Quite a good job of so far today. Oh, that's right, because you're booking, <laughs> booking airfares and accommodation at yes. the moment. Spending all of your monies. Yes, like mm. normal. I'm used to it. I'm getting very excited for Europe. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to it too. It's yeah. Looking forward to going to one place in particular that we've never been. Yes, Scotland. Scotland. It's going to be Scotland. very fun. I'm looking forward to um, that. I've never been, well, actually, no, I have been to Berlin, but I was only there for one night and I don't really remember it because I was. Yeah, well, I'm looking for. I liked Berlin too. That'd be good fun. Got and some, I yeah. also, there's some good models in Brussels, so hmm. not that we're doing any workshops there, but. No, but we've got some time off in between Tomorrowland weekends. I can't believe we're doing two weeks of Tomorrowland. I love people. I can, I spent, I paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> I love people's reactions when I say that we're going to Tomorrowland. Well, not, not everybody's playing both weekends. Yeah, no. There's a lot that aren't. So we didn't want to risk the fact that some of our favourite people in the world would be playing on the weekend we didn't play. So we decided not to come to either weekend. Yeah. No Skrillex, no Fred again, no. I'm really surprised Fred again isn't playing. Well, you, you one told me that he didn't want to do festivals. I think he said he. I read somewhere that he said he didn't want to do a music fe- uh, yeah, like, festivals. No, it was like specifically like electronic slash dance music or something. But I was like, but that's what he makes. Yeah, I find it a bit weird that two of the people that won't be there were the most DJed songs that yeah. were played there. 
by people that didn't put the song <laughs> together. <laughs> weird. I did find that a bit weird. Yeah, so I'm I'm very surprised that both those people aren't playing. I'm really sad that Neelix isn't playing. But that's all right, it's still going to be fun. I know, I'm looking forward to it. But I don't know many people in the world that can say that they're going to two weekends of a music festival with their boss. <laughs> It's pretty... I'm trying to think of all the people I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't m- know anybody that would go to a festival. <laughs> <laughs> Full stop. Well, no, I'm just thinking, so I, I know people like you and that, I'm just thinking of most of the people I were friends and that, they're old hearts. They're so old. <laughs> Mum said she wants to come to a uh, do a f- with <laughs> If she's doing it, so I'm not coming. Did you hear we're getting the glamping van and she wants to jump in our glamping van? No. She'll she... be, she's in bed by nine o'clock. <laughs> she said before she dies she wants to go to a doof. A doof. Yes. <laughs> she goes to What's the worst doof we can think oh. of? <laughs> that one that I went to the with. Christmas the... one? The one with the broken generator and the one toilet for like 100 people and the toilet broke and then there was no toilet. Yeah, but was that the Christmas one? It was like February, maybe last year. Oh. I can remember one you went to, I went to one an absolute in... disaster. Yeah, they had one generator which was to power the sound, <laughs> the lights and the light on the toilet. <laughs> no, the one Jenny was for... Yeah, the lights, Jared, the projector for Jared's vision. Yeah, well, it's like class says lights. The sound, DJ Dex. Yeah. <laughs> and then, oh, we, we broke it. We broke it. There well, it kept, so... ki- kept kicking out first, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. and yeah. then it just They completely... kept stalling it. I think that's a good sign. When there's generally goes, <laughs> ugh, you know that you're trying to draw out of it more than what it can give. There was someone there doing tattoos. Maybe it was that. Maybe it was a tattoo <laughs> gun. <laughs> the one tattoo gun that was what did it. I think they should he, have shut him down. <laughs> <laughs> like he had like a van and was like offering people like like doing tattoos. <sighs> Does not sound sanitary. No. Was it like a this square plastic thing with a drawing <laughs> <laughs> and he was doing it in there? I was just thinking to myself, I was like, you have to keep them clean after you get them and we're like kind of in a paddock. I'm not even thinking of that side of it. I'm thinking about people that are off their face. <laughs> oh, I'm to get a <laughs> Well, that as well. Oh, then... I want to get a dolphin <laughs> <laughs> on my forehead. Jared made a joke that we should all get matching broken generator tattoos <laughs> to remember the weekend. <laughs> oh, idiots. I don't know, I had a little bit of an inkling to get ink uh, uh, a little while ago, but then it's gone again. Inkling. An inkling. It was so and funny. It again and I just... Uh, I want to get some more little stickers. Stickers. Even though... Actually, no, that'd be fun. Piss off more people. He don't like tattoos. I don't like tattoos. Well, I did not get them for you. Well, you should if I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like people that are anti-tattoo are, like, really anti-tattoo. I think it's more because even when I was growing up, like when I was young, tattoos were more Sorry. by people who had been in prison, people who had been in the Navy. Right. So the, a type of... And then your bikies and things like that. So it was sort of like uh, anyone who gets a tattoo, it's, it's they're making a statement of who they are. Right. And then when w- women started getting tattoos, it was a, like it was a massive big, it was a taboo. taboo. But then all of a sudden it became a hot thing for a chick to get a tattoo. And then it went away. Then it went the other way. Then it went, no, it's not. But I don't know, it doesn't bother me. I, it's like anything, there's people that you don't like what jewellery they wear or their hair cut or the clothes they wear. And there's people who've got tattoos and you think, uh, why would you just black half your body out? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to talk about that person. Well, well, even... MGK. Yeah, I was joking about that. Oh. The, the blackout on some, I don't know, some women, some of the black sort of tattoos, I, was, I think oh, that's... 
taken away from you. Yeah. Like a full black chest. Kat Von D is blacking out a lot of her stuff as well. Surely laser would be less painful than blacking. <laughs> yeah, like I think it is. <laughs> like, ugh, I don't like that. That would be so painful. I, I don't know. It's, it's still each to their own. People, I'm never going to tell somebody I hate your tattoos because that's their art. And Shay and I were talking about this recently. She goes, every now and then she sees some of the old pictures I took where she was clean skinned. Mm. Just goes, oh, maybe if. <laughs> I, uh, I go through phases sometimes, like I look at someone that has like no tattoos and I'm like, hmm, why did I get them? And then other times I look at. Like Shay and I'm like, oh, I want to have more stickers. I like Shay stickers. Me too. I'm not saying I love every individual tattoo, but I like that there you can look over her stickers and see different stories or different yeah. things. So from that side of things, yeah. And I tend to, I find the sleeves, single full sleeves I find, yeah. I don't know, I don't get them as much. I don't mind the broken up sleeves a little bit like Len. It's got mm. one portrait here, one portrait here, one portrait here. You follow? But mm. just one whole leg or something, it's all just one. I find them a little bit boring. Like they look really oh, cool. Like no, but this is just each to their own. Yeah. They look really cool, but I get it's so much space you could have put three cool ones. Three cool ones. Although if they got eight a lot. They would have more skin that could add to it later. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, but I'm still, I answer everything in life. I still think everybody's, as long as you're not hurting somebody else, do whatever you effing like. Thing like. No, I, I like people who wear their art or wear their colours. Wear their photos on T-shirts. Wear their, no, they're not my photos. They're, where other people's pictures on my T-shirts. But you took it. I know, but it's not me. Yeah, but it's your photo. Oh, my photo, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I wasn't bringing it up for that reason. No, I know. Because 90% of the people on the street wouldn't have a clue what the T-shirt is. I know, I was just circling it back. Yeah, well, I still think, well, I've always, as far back as I remember, I just tend to wear the same thing every day. Oh uh, yeah, as far as like when really? I had when I had nursery, we had a uniform there, and I just wore that every day. Except when I wasn't working, I just wore jeans and a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> when I was with Mate Nicholas, I wore the same thing every day, which is their uniform. Except when I didn't work, and I, I wore jeans and a t-shirt. And then every time we played on stage and I was in the band, I just wore jeans and a t-shirt. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I'm I like. Jeans and t-shirts. Like jeans and t-shirts. The only time I didn't wear jeans and t-shirts when I was doing a lot of fishings, mm. then I wore the proper Columbia outdoor wear. <laughs> when I, the first high school I went to was, had a uniform and then when I left because kids are mean and I, especially teenage girls, and I left and went. Well, that's how you looked ugly in your uniform. No, <laughs> it was a bit of, it picked on me because I was emo. Yeah, look at you wearing a uniform. Were you the only kid at school wearing a uniform? What? Were you the only kid at the school wearing the uniform? No. No, sorry. I was, I was picking on you. Oh, meanie. But then I went to another high school that didn't have a uniform and at first I was, like, so excited but kind of got a bit annoying trying to figure out what to what wear. What to wear. <laughs> Each day. I'll never forget when we used to have free dress Fridays once a month, I think it was, at school. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you had to, it was once you got to a, a certain level of grade, once you got to a certain grade. Yeah. And everyone carrying on about, oh, we should do theme days. And <laughs> I'm just glad to get this freaking tie off. <laughs> I'm wrapped up, I don't have to wear a tie. Although my ties never last long. I had to wear a tie. My winter uniform. You had a tie? Did mm. you go to a girls' school? Yeah. I went to a Catholic old girls' school. Oh. <laughs> From year seven to ten. Oh. So that's why you turned out the way you are. <laughs> and they all picked on me because I was an emo. We had, I went to a technical school which um, was on one side of the road and then there was a Catholic school on the other side of the road. Mm. 
And then there was not far within about four blocks, so there was a high school, which that's what they call in Australia. I don't know how to compare with them overseas, but the high school was more about literature, English, and sciences and things like that. Technical school had woodwork and uh, machining, mechanics, mm. as well as your other subjects. And I'll never forget the, the, our final year, technical schools only went to level five. Mm. And then you'd have to go to a college and do what was called TOP, I think. And then the high schools and the Catholic school went to level six. We, had a, we always treated, well, our level five is your level six. We're smarter than you are and you've had to do one more year. Well, we had a thing that um, let's count how many girls got pregnant in the final year. Oh, my God. Ringwood Tech had two. Mm. Aquinas had 14. That's a Catholic school. Oh. <laughs> it says something about the rhythm method. Does it? <gasps> rhythm method doesn't work. Oh, my God. We can never work out what this was. Was it just the Catholic girls were harder or? I don't know. Mm. But the school is also, they had the girls and the boys part. So that was segregated. Maybe that was it. Yeah, because if you keep them apart, they're going to want to be together more. I don't well, know. Like magnets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very magnetic. Well, the other thing is I... I think it might have been the technical school's boys that impregnated them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> because the God. girls in the Catholic school didn't mm. like the Catholic boys. I don't oh, know. Oh, my God. Anyway, it was, I was always, I remember mum and dad laughing when I told them, how do you know the facts? I said, we know what girls <laughs> don't go to school anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the ones that disappear halfway through the year. Oh. And then the rumours start. I don't think I had anyone in my high school, like, get pregnant at school. No, I don't think so. Not that I know of. We had one girl that she was asked to leave because she was pregnant. Really? Yeah. Oh, you're talking, we're talking early 70s. The Stone Age. The Stoner's Age. <laughs> no, we're talking early 70s. It was funny, I was watching a, a doco on, um, oh, what's his name? Akadaka's original singer, uh, Bon Scott. Mm. It was a really cool doco because his brother, it was the first time his brother actually spoke in public about everything. And it was really interesting to hear how tough a time he grew up. And he went to prison when he was 16 because he had sex with a minor. Oh. Yeah, he, is, he is a minor at 16. And she, but she was 15. I think they're only like three months difference. Oh. But it's like... There's a year in prison for that. Not just a kid prison, proper prison. Jeez. That's a bit, a bit ridiculous. A bit ridiculous and, yes, he had he had a pretty rough time. He got... <laughs> it became headline news they caught him with a joint. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, see, that's what it was like in the 70s, the oh, earlier really? 70s. with Akadaka and that. Yeah. Oh. I thought the 70s was, like, fun. It was, but the, the police weren't fun oh. and the government's never fun. Oh. Oh, really? No, th things like, you know, a joint was, you know. But everyone was a stoner back then. Yeah, you don't get caught with it. Oh. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> serious. <laughs> a joint is like, uh, you're, you're going to jail. Oh, wow. Well, that's what they would say to you is they caught you. Wow. I didn't know. I was not alive then. You're still sitting on the whiskey. I thought you would have. Moved on to your... I don't skull things I like. I like oh. sippins. Sippins? Sippins. Unlike me, who... Who what? I just I thought my microphone fell. Chugs it through a wine. So this, this wine, I'm finding... The bottom of it, there's a lot of sediment. No, just talk, to pour it very slowly. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Don't just hoof it out like you normally <laughs> do. Just put it so if you pour it really slowly, the sediment will sit and you'll get the dribble over the top edge. I said slowly, not <laughs> <and> stop. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, I'll spill it. You're imitating your mum wing. <laughs> See, the sediment can't come out at that rate. This is like sure. old man rate. <laughs> Not referring to me, I'm referring to. 
<laughs> see, the sediment's not coming out. Now if you just swash it back, see, it stayed in the bottle. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. But that was painful. How long have you been drinking? And you learn something new every day. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, although I reckon there's still going to be some in there. Oh, you reckon? I reckon. It's all right. I'll just... So I've got to shoot to tomorrow with someone I have never shot. We're going yes. to be shooting with snakes, but she said both of them decided to start molting. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's cool when they do that. Mm. Mm. creepy. I'm kind of happy she's not bringing them. Why? Because it's so scary. Yeah. How can you go to, oh, look at the snake in the pants. To, uh, <laughs> <laughs> They're not like that. Did You never touched Monty, did you? No. Oh, they're not slimy. I didn't say that. They just... You're carrying on like they're a mushroom. They're creepy. They're not... They're actually really cool. No, they're creepy. They have fangs. I've been tempted to get a little baby one again, but... It's cool. Are they really cool when they're babies? If they get bigger, I just feel cruel. Even though all they want to do is sleep and eat. Make me. <laughs> <laughs> no, you want to drink as well. Mm. Well, I drink a little bit. But they're the best pits ever. They only do one shit a month. How do they poo? Out their bottom, like every other animal <laughs> in the world. Like, where is their bottom? Like, is it at the tip of their tail? No. Like, where, where is it? How? It's coming down to a needle. How's the poo going to get? It's about... <laughs> That far short of the tip, of, the, oh, the yeah. end of their, their stomach area and that. But they have like a little hole. They have a bottom. <laughs> I. You need to watch some documentaries, I think. I do watch documentaries, I just... Not on snakes. Not on snakes. Well, so how does a chook poo out of its palm? The snake does the same thing. Yeah, but I'm just more like, where is it? Well, where's a fish's bum? Where is it? A fish's bum? I've never thought about this. Fish's bums, normally if you catch a fish, you get your filling knife and it normally goes in its bum and straight up through the guts. Oh, I've never thought about that. Never thought about fish's bum. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why that. So where's an octopus's bum? There's one for you. Where you would think of it is, is their mouth. Well, do they they've, shit out of their mouth? They've got a little beak. Yeah, but where's their bum? Where is it? Oh. Where's a starfish's bum? Where's a snail's bum? Do they just shit inside their, their house? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to... There we go. Here's a whole... Rabbit, rabbit hole, hole you can go down to, to find finding out. out where different things bums are. <laughs> <laughs> can you can you educate us all next week, please? Oh, my Google search history is going to be wild. <laughs> no, it'll end up on my friggin' <laughs> YouTube search. All of a sudden, there's going to be bottoms coming up. Like you did search something the other day, and I got nothing but. What did I get? Nothing but. There's something you search and just bomb. Oh yeah, tape. Tape. Yeah, the tape fashion. Oh, when they did the yeah. use the tape on stage with this ta tape fashion. Oh, I don't hate Half that. my feet ended up with that crap. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't even like that. I was just watching it for The very first time I saw it was very clever, but he was a real artist. Mm -hmm. Like he did beautiful little lines off each fingers and he made them into flames and Is stuff that like one that. One I was watching the other day was tacky. Oh no, it's just like giving it a floss. <laughs> that was tacky. I wonder why. <laughs> yeah, I didn't didn't enjoy that. I don't know. I just I think I think it's been done now as well. Like it's like a lot of things, but things that being done still can be done better. Mm -hmm. It's the best one you ever saw. You gave it ten, and two years later he mm -hmm. did it better. But you can't give him an eleven because it only goes up to ten. Give him an 11. No, you can't. Why can't you? The you scorecard doesn't go that high. You, you could can't just, even do a 10 plus. Just get another piece of paper. You could attach but they it. won't read that piece of paper. You're just so there, just attach, it. Mm -hmm. attach it. Attach yeah, it. With some tape. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. Can I have a bit of tape? <laughs> <laughs>
I know. I think originally it was done as like this really cool thing in the fashion show, a little bit like the paint dress and a few of those other things that mm. were done. And all of a sudden um, the perverts find a new way of doing it. So, sorry, no, the people using oh, Takarama, <laughs> like once they're, they're just trying to have a find the reason of having someone with the least amount of clothing on stage. I feel like the milk bath got overdone as well. Oh, yeah, the milk bath got way overdone. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm still seeing the odd really cool shirt that's different. It's definitely cool. No, just, but different. It's, yeah. The other thing I got I really overdone with, it was a very clever photographer, I can't remember his name, who first did it, was the milk clothing. Milk clothing? Yeah. So the model would stand there in a fixed pose and they'd throw milk from all different angles and then superimpose each of the splatches to make dresses and stuff like that. I showed you yesterday. I said, oh, that's just that milk stuff. Oh, yes. Yes, I do remember. Yeah. yeah. So that was extremely clever, but then every man used it. And the same as like the flower, throwing talcum powder or flower in the studio, oh. getting girls to fill their hair up with it and shake their hair and get the <laughs> all of that. Those, yeah, it, they're a good thing to do while you're learning because you're going to learn about flash durations and things like that and how to light it, how to get it work. So from that side of things, they're great is to learn something, but... A lot of that stuff, once it's been done really well once, it's like no matter what you do, you're not going to look as good. So yeah. It's very hard. But I, for the training side of it, like I learned so much doing some of not necessarily those things but other things. I learned so many, much about the problems and learning how to solve those problems and taught me tricks, things like glitter. Mm. Glitter is terrible to shoot with a flash. So it just looks like dots. It doesn't look like glitter. But if you have a constant light on it, the glitter. Yeah. So whenever I shot glitter, like there's a few beauty shoots I had to do, they want to put glitter on the models, mm -hmm. on their face. Hmm. What are you, I'm not doing a glitter shoot. Not after you saw. Oh, you want to do a YouTube with glitter, like that other thing you showed me? No. You sure now? Yes. No. I like glitters. Oh, of course you like glitters. <laughs> Anything that sparkles. I love it. You finished your whiskies. I finished my whiskies. What are you going to have now? Um, I'll do a small eagle. What's eagle rare Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey? Someone said bourbon's not whiskey. In our comments, I said bourbon's not whiskey. Aren't they? I'm not going to get in that argument. Mm. If it tastes nice, I drink it. <laughs> and call it whatever you like. Yeah, this is, I'd say, my favourite bourbon. And I don't, I've got to find out where I bought it from. I think I bought it. fruit salad. I think I bought it in America. I think I bought it in uh, Austin. Austin. Austin to Texas. I'm calling this fruit salad. Why are you calling it fruit salad? It's mostly grapes, but it is fruit salad. There's no salad in there. It's fruit salad. I can get some lettuce out of the fridge and put it in there if you want. Mm, it's fruit salad. Fruit salad. Yep. Anyways. 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 I don't remember you. Do oh, did you get that from that nice liquor store that you found there? Didn't buy it from last year. No, it was in... Yeah, it was another one that... Oh no, that, that the one I really liked. That store by what did one spend the money on this thing? He said it was the best he's ever tasted because it was five hundred of one was in there. It was that white rabbit bourbon I got. That was in Orlando. Oh, that's right. And you did like that. You take took a sip of it and then. Remember, I that's thinking of it. Yeah. So let me start that again. Speaking of expensive alcohol, the tequila in Mexico, that was so good. I, I don't think that shop did it, but since then I've been told there's a few scams about where they have these incredible bottles and what you taste is not what's in the bottle. Oh. So you, you know, you put $1,500 for this incredible, no, nah, that's not what's in the bottle. Oh, dodgies. So they sell like 20 bottles based off what people taste out of one bottle. So that's why they give you the free tasting, it's super expensive. That's so cheeky. It is. 
But the one thing I really liked is when the second time we went back to the Mexican place, I said to him that I wanted to get the bottle that was the owner's everyday drink. Mm-hmm. You know, the guy said, I said, I think so. oh, no, it'll be this one. And there was a, like 10 of them lined up. And he cracked the seal off it and he poured some out and said, Try, and said yeah, that's it, and just grabbed the bottle next to it and gave it to me. And it was exactly the same. Hmm. So I don't think that place is one of the dodgy places. Yeah. But, yeah, some of those. Oh, my God. It was just so good. It was good. It was fun. Yeah, we went past and what? We'd had like 10 shots in 10, <laughs> <laughs> ten minutes. And we walk out into the heat go, it's only 11 o'clock. <laughs> I was a bit drunk after that. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't have breakfast that day. You never have breakfast. <laughs> I do sometimes on the weekends. Do you? Sometimes. It's more like lunch, but like, it's, <laughs> it's like bacon and eggs and, and a muffin. At 12 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. like brunch. <laughs> it's still kind of, it's breakfast food. You used to have breakfast every now and then here. Every now and then you'd have eggs on toast or egg and bacon. Yeah, that's what I mean. Sometimes I do. And when we go to Tomorrowland, I will because it's we got free breakfast at the hotel and I need to eat before I drink all day. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, otherwise I will be sick. You'll be sick. Yes. You'll be sick. I can't wait for Tomorrowland. It's going to be so good. No, I'm looking forward to that. It's like... And we keep on going on about this. I know, Everyone else will hate us. Um, it's like Adults Disneyland. Adults Disneyland. Yeah. <laughs> you like Disneyland. Can't believe you got me to go to Disneyland. Hey, you took one of your favourite photos there. I think I only went there for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. You were in Disneyland. That was pretty special, especially that... The kid in the kid background. in the background was it. the best thing... I know it's even the picture in New York is. Um, and I'll put that up. Which is Disneyland or New York? What will we do to cover this one? Disneyland. Disneyland. So, and I might superimpose. No, I can't cover up the kid's face. No, because the kid's face is. I might, the best. I might put my head on the wife who's giving the dirty look back at the husband. No way. Um, uh, yeah, the New York, if you look really carefully, there's so much happening in the background of other people doing selfies and completely ignoring you. Yeah. And I, I really enjoy that picture because it just seems like you can just keep looking at it forever and see little things. <laughs> what do we? Uh, one's looking at the other going, why are you up there and I'm not? Yes. But yes. I was going to say something else. Oh, sorry. I threw no, you off. It wasn't, mustn't have been very important. Obviously. Obviously. Otherwise you would have remembered it. I would have remembered it. Anyways, I think oh, stretch. we've passed our 55 minutes, minutes. Minutes, okay. 55 minutes, so don't do the alarm anymore, Mrs. Scared Beck. <laughs> <laughs> Did you jump every time I went off? <laughs> no, little things scare you really early. What did I do the other day and you jumped like crazy? You had the leaf blower thing. Oh, that's right. And you <laughs> snuck up behind me and went, mm, and I jumped and hit my knees on the desk. And, well, I it just scared me. It was one of the, I had a good mate. Um, and many when he was about, we were about 17, we had an after school job together and I ended up employing him many years later, working when I was, had the nursery. And his joke was, and in the older cars you could do it, you'd sneak into your car, turn your volume of your radio to full. So when you start the car, it comes on I and you just to... sit back and watch you jump in your car. I did that to mum a few times when I was a kid in did her you? old car. <laughs> she got really angry at me. But the thing was, is Paul was the world's worst for jumping himself. Yeah. So if he ever did it to me, I said, right, that's 20. He goes, mm-hmm. what do you mean? I said, it's 20 scares. Mm-hmm. And I went out of my way to scare the crap out of him 20 times as quick as I could. Oh, my God. And he just go around going, how to jump in the heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You get so much joy out of making me jump. I don't even... 
I had never tried to scare you properly because I think it'd go to tears. <laughs> I think you'd actually go to tears if I scared you properly. I am a bit of a crybaby. Uh, Nikki got one of the paintings from the studio and she said where she put it in the wall every time she walks around a corner, it's like there's somebody standing there <laughs> and she jumps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Well, that was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, oh, anyways, we, we will... I won't see you next week. Will I? Yes. Of course you'll see them next week. Am I... Am I aren't I going? Oh, you yeah, haven't told them that I'm fired you. No, you, you haven't. Got, we, we've got someone new taking over from Beck as of next week. We do not. <laughs> <laughs> then why are you saying you won't be on next week? You will be. Oh, okay. I don't know what planet you're living on. Okay. Oh, unless you're planning on eloping with <laughs> Holy some uh, well-endowed person <laughs> that you're going to see twice next week. Could have been three times. I don't want to talk about it, I'm sad. No, it wouldn't have been three times next week. It would only be twice. Yeah, but it would, I would be three times within a week. Or a bit over. No, a bit over a week. Whatever. Whatever. I win, you lose. Anyway, see ya. Bye.